How to start an e-commerce business profitably. Guide for beginners. My name is Alexander Skibinski and I own a 7-figure e-commerce brand. I started it in 2016 and I also help other entrepreneurs scale their businesses with my marketing agency alldigital.com and my private coaching and consulting you can find at alexskb.com. For instance, Daniel, I help her to make half a million in less than a year. Or Erika from Botanical Rituals, I help her to x5 her sales in less than two weeks. I'm not selling you the dream here in my video I'm offering to you my knowledge so that you can apply it to your journey and achieve the highest possible results for your e-commerce idea or existing business. What is e-commerce? E-commerce is a type of business that allows you to sell anything you want and how you want within the law of course. You can sell via Shopify or through marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, eBay. I advise a combination like creating a Shopify store connecting it to marketplaces in that way using multiple sales channels. You can even start your e-commerce journey just by using Facebook and Instagram page, sell your products through DMs where more messages mean more sales. How do you find profitable e-commerce business ideas? Almost any e-commerce product priced at least between X3 or X5 can be considered a profitable business idea. Buying a product for 50 and selling it for 150 or 250 is already a good idea. It also can be X2 and can work for products over $500. For example, if you buy something for $500 and you sell it for $1,000, it's good to go. Or if you purchase something for $100,000 and you sell it for $120,000, it's also good to go. You can invest $10,000 in marketing to acquire one single client and put the rest of $10,000 in your pocket, minus taxes, of course. Behind any profitable business idea, there is well thought out economics. The product price must allow you to continuously invest money in marketing, acquire new clients and get profits into your pocket. Otherwise, you may end up being depressed and anxious about the results. How do you find profitable e-commerce products? First, consider what you really like, where your expertise is, and try to use both to find the right products for you. E-commerce is about buying and reselling or producing and selling. Of course, you can combine both. For example, one of my friends buys and resells vintage decor and furniture. He purchases bulk from a local storage and sells piece by piece on his website. You can also start a dropshipping. In that case, you place products from the manufacturer on your website or Instagram page if you don't have a website yet. And then you need to create original pictures and videos for the products and start promoting them. Once you have an order, you purchase the product from the manufacturer and ask him to arrange a shipping on your behalf to your client. In that way, avoiding buying a huge inventory or managing the stock. Another idea is to do print on demand. You can sell shirts, hats, hoodies, bedding, canvases and so on. There are companies like Printify who can print and ship for you. In case you have a very sophisticated product idea, then you need to contact different manufacturers and ask them to produce it with your own design and branding. Of course, before buying a plethora of inventory, make sure it makes sense. So you need to test your product using advertising and marketplaces to see if it's scalable and brings you profits. I have a video on my YouTube channel on how to test e-commerce products. I will leave the link in the description. Execution is everything. I don't want you to think for years and then start something. Just start and God will show you the way. It always does. The e-commerce idea should be related to something you're passionate about or your family already does and want to pass it to the next level. One of my best, most profitable e-commerce business ideas was family brick and mortar business that I took to another level with e-commerce. Another passion of mine is sports, but I never did e-commerce in this niche. So especially for you as an experiment, I decided to create print on demand e-commerce store. I will be documenting all the steps on my YouTube channel. My goal with this e-commerce idea is to make $100 a day in profit. If you already have a job, stick with it. Invest 20-30 minutes daily into your e-commerce business idea until you get some results and then see how to grow it as a new income source. Many will advise focusing on one business, but I am adept of having multiple streams of income, even if they give you that unpleasant stress. I think it's less stressful when one business fails and another one brings you money for a living. Once your brain's thinking system has agreed upon your business idea and product, you can start contacting manufacturers, suppliers, 
future partners and see how to get that product to you so that you can start making original content. Simultaneously, you can begin working on your branding. Here are some recommendations for it. Naming your e-commerce business, name ideas. I prefer brand names that are available with .com extension. It gives more authority and trust to your e-commerce business. Another factor that I avoid is that I don't want my brand name to show what I am selling expressly. I want it to be more mysterious rather than direct. For example, my family business Lee Adore sells jewelry, which I don't specify in the brand name itself. In that way, I can adapt the brand name to other products like clothing, bags, perfumes, if I want to extend and scale it. Or in case something is not working, you can change the direction fast without changing the brand name or domain name, avoiding creating a whole new e-commerce store. The next thing that can stop you from launching your e-commerce fast is your logo, fonts and colors, which can be done quickly. I usually use software named Luca to generate everything in minutes. I mean my logo, fonts, colors, email signatures, social media kit and so on. You can find my link in the description of this video. If you dislike this way, just hire a freelancer from Upwork and work on something custom together, but this will cost you more money and take time. When your branding is ready, it's time to choose an e-commerce platform you will use to start selling and scaling your business. What e-commerce platform to choose? An e-commerce platform is a ready-made solution that you can use to sell your products online. I don't recommend creating an e-commerce platform from scratch. It's going to cost you thousands of dollars and years of headaches picking up either Shopify or WooCommerce. I failed my first e-commerce attempt because I wanted to do it from scratch. Actually, a web development agency convinced me to do it and I fell into this trap, a custom-made e-commerce platform and website design. Ultimately, I lost money with the web development agency and spent almost a year waiting and receiving nonsense excuses. I was very nervous and to solve my situation, I built my first e-commerce store using WooCommerce. I did it in two weeks and it was much faster and better than the web development agency version. I have a decade of experience with Shopify and WooCommerce. Both are well-developed platforms with millions of users and all the necessary plugins to make your online marketing and sales easier. WooCommerce and Shopify have plugins to help you sell on different marketplaces, connect your store to social media channels, sell and track everything. If you have zero experience with coding, server setup and optimization, which can be a headache for someone new, I advise sticking with Shopify. For majority of the projects, my clients and I are using Shopify. If you are familiar with server administration and optimization, WooCommerce is a very nice solution. I have been using it since 2009. Another solution is Magento, a very sophisticated platform. Usually big companies are using it as something prestigious. If you have a team of developers and you are making crazy profits, this can be a solution for you. However, some of my nine-figure clients are moving from Magento to Shopify Plus. If you invest maximum one hour daily into your e-commerce store, you can easily make it live in two weeks. And then once it's live, you must start implementing your own e-commerce digital marketing strategy. What is digital marketing strategy for e-commerce? To fully understand and master digital marketing strategy for e-commerce, you must learn 11 skills and I will mention them in a few moments. You can master all the 11 skills if you practice independently in a few years or a few months if you hire the right coach. On my YouTube channel, you will find videos where I teach those skills. So here they are. Number one, content. You need to learn what type of content can sell your product, how to present it aesthetically and how to excite people to proceed with the purchase. Number two, data analytics will help you to get clarity and prediction, measure your cost per client acquisition, return on investment and plethora of other key performance indicators that will help you to make right decision fast without guessing. Number three, meta ads. Facebook and Instagram advertising can be crucial for scaling the brand. And this is the place where I usually start advertising. I have been using it since 2009. Many things have changed. However, it still remains primary sales generator for most e-commerce businesses, including mine. Number four, Google ads. I would like to accentuate Google shopping and Google remarketing ads, which work well for most brands. When someone visits your website from social media or SEO, you can easily follow them on other websites and remind them to purchase from you. Number five, TikTok ads. One of the fastest growing social media channels in some cases can outperform Facebook, Instagram, and Google advertising. If you already know how to do meta ads, I mean Facebook and Instagram, it will be much easier for you to run TikTok ads. 
Number six, Pinterest ads. Before making a purchase, consumers prefer to be inspired on Pinterest. And if you hit them at the right time with your product, it can get you a high ROI. Number seven, email and SMS marketing. Work in combination with paid and organic marketing strategies it increases revenue by 20-30%. Number eight, influencer marketing. I have clients where influencers bring 50-100k in monthly revenue. My clients just share 10 to 20% of their revenue for the specific product with the influencer. You can start your collaboration with a simple paid promotion to get some data and then once you are satisfied, feel free to discuss a revenue share option. Number nine, SEO. Search engine optimization is all about developing proper product categories, optimizing them for search intent, optimizing your product pages, pictures, developing blogs and vlogs, posting on social media channels, and making people type your brand name in Google. Also build an authority and reputation for your website by making other websites link to your store. Number 10, marketplace marketing. When your Facebook, Instagram and Google advertising is not working, a marketplace like Amazon, Etsy or eBay can save you from a failure. But if the product you're promoting through Shopify using Facebook, Instagram and Google advertising is working, then 100% is going to work on marketplaces with even better ROI. Number 11, conversion rate optimization. Another crucial marketing strategy that will allow you to improve performance on advertising and website levels, in some cases, even double your sales. Mastering all those 11 skills will give you total clarity on everything you do as an e-commerce business owner. Those 11 skills will allow you to save and make thousands of dollars monthly, lead and pick up the right digital marketing employees and also hire right digital marketing agencies fast. You will be able to easily understand when someone is lying to you or spot their unplausible screenshots, showing one week of good sales and hiding the rest of the year. Some experts are promoting just details, hiding a big picture from you, making it feel like something easy so that you can buy their service. So always look at the whole picture and a more extended period. In conclusion, can e-commerce be profitable? Of course, it can be depending on how you promote it. Give it time. Try multiple sales channels and advertising strategies I mentioned above. If you are not profitable, there is a problem and you would need to investigate all the hypotheses why it's not working. You can feel a good product by the ROI and sales it generates. A wrong product is like a broken car you are trying to push by hand. Dear friends, I was happy to share a small part of my experience with you. For more, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. It will help me a lot. See you in the next video.